A trustee's obligations and duties are set out in both the trust deed and in law. Ultimately, trustees must act in the best interest of the trust and its beneficiaries. If there are concerns about a trustee, there are a number of ways in which it might be possible to remove them. The most obvious way is to invite them to stand down voluntarily. However, if they refuse, then other steps might be necessary. The first step is always to review the trust documents as there's a pretty good chance that this will list the person or persons who have power to appoint, remove or substitute trustees and how they can do that. The trust document will often contain an express power allowing the removal of trustees. However, if the trust document is silent or limits the power to appoint or remove trustees, it might then be necessary either to rely on legislation or the court's jurisdiction to seek removal. Trustees can be removed without the court's intervention by their fellow trustees if one or more of a number of grounds set out in Section 36 of the Trustee Act 1925 are met. These include things like if the trustee has died, if they remain outside of the UK for more than 12 months, if they refuse or are unfit to act, or if they're incapable of acting. However, that power of removal can only be used by trustees. It's not available to beneficiaries unless they're also trustees or they have power to remove trustees under the trust instrument. Absent that, one further possibility for beneficiaries is found in Section 19 of the Trusts of Land and Appointment of Trustees Act 1996. That provides that where the trustee doesn't provide anyone with the power to appoint trustees, if all the beneficiaries are over 18 and of sound mind, then they can together remove a trustee. However, if none of those remedies are available, then the court can be asked to remove a trustee. It can remove a trustee either under Section 41 of the Trustee Act 1925 or under what's called its inherent jurisdiction. These applications can be made by beneficiaries or trustees, and the court will generally look at the circumstances of the case and consider ultimately what's in the best interests of the trust.